Hey guys, what's good? Today's video is on the not so perfect photos from the Fuji GW693, aka the Texas Leica. And we're going to check out photos that I didn't make the cut on YouTube and why I decided not to share these on Instagram for obvious reasons and to the people and clients that I've worked with. And basically, I am going to critique my own photos and just share why these photos didn't work out. I've been using this camera for over a year already and made quite a few videos sharing all the photos that you can create with this camera. So today I wanted to share some of the bad photos that just didn't work out for me and just wanted to share that journey with you guys that not every tool you use like this camera is going to be perfect. You're always going to waste film. You're always not going to get the perfect shots that you want. So I just wanted to share those flaws and basically being a photographer and just using a tool like this that it's not always going to be rainbows and all that stuff so yeah let's check out some bad photos and let me know what you guys think all right so this first photo here was taken a few weeks ago in chicago and i really thought i had this shot in focus but i guess not so that's one of the issues that i have with this camera it's a rangefinder, and sometimes I feel like I, at that moment, I was in focus with the shot that I wanted to take. Um, but sometimes, you know, you're not always right, so it would end up something like this. This shot right here was taken in London, and this is also my first time using the GW693. This is actually my first test shoot. And shout out to Vince for linking me up with Naz in london and obviously in this shot it's not focused here's another portrait this one wasn't focused when i thought it was so if i remember uh the garage wasn't well lit so i tried focusing on her and when i thought i did i took the shot but after scanning the photo it ended up like this in the next two shots i took these when the skies in San Francisco turned orange and I wish I had a tripod at the time and I think if I did these photos would turn out really good. One of the issues that I have with the Fuji GW693 is looking through my viewfinder. In the viewfinder you'll be able to see the front lens. If you have it in your landscape mode you'll be able to see it on the bottom right and in portrait orientation you'll see it on your bottom left. and for me, I think it's a distraction. I feel like I lose focus on centering my subjects and it ends up, some of my photos end up being like this. Although I could crop these photos, I just wish I could just look through the viewfinder and see the frame that I want. So for this next shot here, I, I don't want to say it's a camera issue. I think for me, it's not leveling my composition correctly so in this photo if you zoom in really close you can see in the horizon line that it's kind of tilted and in here in this photo from Japan it's obviously not centered in the horizon line so yeah I think this is an issue for me and here's another shot taken in a sunflower field and obviously the horizon line is not centered let's go back to portraits this might be the last one for this video so if you've seen my work, I do a lot of environmental portraits and my issue here is having a lot of headspace or I guess empty space at the top and I do this quite often and I don't like it. It just leaves a bad composition. And I think the best solution uh, for this is to just go closer to your subject and you'll get the composition right. And also do this uh, with landscape photos as well and for this photo in Japan there's just so much sky so it's overall a bad composition and although I could crop this like the other photos um, that would be the only solution to solve that with the photos that I already have but again the best way is to just go closer to your subject and frame it correctly. Before I leave, I just want to let you guys know that there are more photos that I've taken with the GW tucked in my hard drive that just didn't make the cut. And I uh, just want to say that the GW690 is not a perfect camera. I don't think any camera is perfect, but it is capable of taking really good portraits and landscape photos. I think I proved that 
through all the videos that I've shared on this channel. And if you're new here, again, check out my YouTube channel front page, uh, go to the playlist, and I have a bunch of videos there that can prove that this camera is very capable. And the last thing that I want to say about this camera, I am going to put it away for a bit. I'm not going to make a lot of videos on this as much as I have because I just recently bought a RZ67 and yeah that's pretty much it that's the big news and if you guys want to see something from the GW leave a comment below and I'll do a video on it but for now it is going to be sitting in my personal collection so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just I hope you guys don't miss this camera so I hope to see you guys in the next one and you'll be seeing more of this all right guys bye Thank you.